Good morning, everybody. Today I'm out fishing Abel Lake, which is my local lake close to my house. It's only a few miles away. It's a long lake, about two, three miles long, very slenderous lake. Um, it's a popular destination for a lot of local folks. A lot of kayakers come out. It's an electric only uh, lake, which is about all I fish. Um, very, very, very hard to fish. Um, caught a lot of big bass in here last year. I caught 11 bass over five pounds. Five, four and a half and up is what I consider decent or quality bass. Um, but it's, it is really difficult to fish. It is April the 11th, it's 719. My goal today is just to try to catch five good keepers. Um, and we'll see how it goes. This is the bait I'm throwing around today, early. Probably go to spinnerbait here in a little bit as soon as the wind gets up. I'm looking for fast acting bass that are, uh, you know, pre spawn, kind of moving up shallow. I'm on a pretty pronounced point. I'm only about 15 feet away from the bank and I'm in 40 foot of water, but the point goes up. Across the lake, it's about 10 foot. It's a really good, uh, really good point to fish. I've caught quite a few good fish off of it. Um, but it's got some logs on the one side. That's what I was just throwing at. Um, sometimes you'll catch them on that log, but a lot of times they're right up here on this point on the weed line when they're active and, and biting. Which again, I'm looking for those active fish today. You know, it's in springtime. Get ready for the spawn. I see down here on my flasher, on my Garmin, I do got fish. Down at about 11 foot of water. So I might go away from this. We caught a hog stomper. May move away from this and go to a jerk bait. Um, might be a little bit since they look, they look suspended this morning. If you're curious what kind of rod and reel combo I'm throwing here, I've got a seven foot, I think it's a seven and a half foot um, St. Croix, seven two St. Croix Bass X rod, medium heavy action with a fast action tip. Actually, I'm sorry, it's not a fast action, it's a, it's a, it's a medium action tip. I'm a big fan of Daiwa reels. I just started throwing these Daiwa reels, the Tatula, I think is how you pronounce it, Tatula. You can't backlash these things. I mean, you can't, don't get me wrong. I, I backlashed one last week into the wind. So, but when I backlashed it, it was so bad, I had to just cut it out. I mean, but really good reels, smooth, dependable. Um, I'm a, I really like them. It's all personal preference. You know, Shimano's are good reels. When I was growing up, Abu Garcia, that's the reel you had to have. I wonder if that goose is gonna follow me all day. was a bass. I don't know why I missed him. I just seen him swirl though. He'd go right back down off. He 
didn't want that for anybody. Like he just laughed at it. And the KLA ain't biting that well today. This is a good spot. Last time I came around this toe, um, my last time around the toe, I caught a three and a half pounder, and then I caught a five, five at the back end of the toe. The wind was really blowing that day. This was a couple weeks ago. Pretty good. Good producing toe. I've said that three times today and haven't caught a fish on any out of any of them. Part of me is starting to think that that front that moved through last night, it rained last night, that shut the fish off. Because I, I mean, he slapped at that bait, but he didn't, he didn't take, he did though. <clears throat> that's a good one. Like I said, this is usually, that's a good fish pounder. <sighs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So probably right at three pounds. Right off that cove. Good good solid bass. I seen him swirl on it pretty quickly. So that's my first one of the day. Nice bass. Doesn't have any indications on their tail that they're doing any spawning or anything still got a big belly so still early nice bass good keeper i'm pretty happy with that one well let's go get some more different experience but there's a lot of them laying down in this lake and if there's some secret that i don't know about please tell me leave it down in the comments i have not caught bass on Minnesota, Maryland, now cypress trees in Louisiana, yeah, I've got some bass on cypress trees, different tree though. So you don't catch a little one, then I caught one. Won't be a whopper. Go. I thought you were a little bit bigger than that. You'll keep. There you go. <laughs> That's quick, quick catch and release right there. He was a keeper. He was running right towards the boat uh, when I caught him. So, but. Um,
and by the way, I'm back in the cove where I caught the first keeper today. Just goes to show, you know, I'm a firm believer in the wind, windy coves in here. The bass will move up and in and out. And I fished, I actually cast at that same place uh, when I was in here earlier. I'm sure that fish was not. He moved up here the last hour, so it's been two. It's been two and a half hours. Little guy, but oh, again, been down this. Yeah, he won't keep, but he's a nice, he's another one. Again, been down this bank before. Um, this is usually a productive bank. I went down it earlier today and didn't catch anything. I think oh, I made a mistake today. I should have came out here later. Because the wind is really starting to blow now. I mean, I can stay out here as long as I want to stay out here. But... Got another one. Oh, that's a good one. It's better. He's stacked up in this back of this windy cove. Now, he will keep. Yeah, he'll keep. About a 12, 14 inch or so keep. If we were keeping them. Again. In here this morning, throwing. The wind was not blowing back in here, which it usually does. Which I really think this is a key factor. This lake. So calling it a day. It's uh, 1.30. I got on the water, started fishing at 7. So not a real good day. I think I caught seven bass total. A couple of them I didn't get on camera because the battery, um, the battery died on the GoPro. You know the biggest one was about three pounds. Um, I think I achieved the five keeper goal, but um, boy just barely today. It's a good looking day too, you know. Um, I think I probably should have hit the afternoon bite versus the morning bite today because now the puppy clouds are moving in, the wind's getting more consistent, but um, I'm gonna call it quits and uh, say the fish win for the day. But just goes to show this lake is tough. It's not, you're not gonna catch a lot of fish. Every time you come out here, you might get lucky and get a big one. Um, and then again, you might just get a few smalls. There's nothing wrong with smalls. It's all, the best thing is I'm out here fishing and enjoying the outdoors, just like I expect anybody else to, to be thinking about it as, you know, just being out here loving mother nature and uh, being part of uh, what it has to offer. So it was a good, it was a good, uh, good fishing day. Um, not the best production day, but all in all, I'm happy and uh, got to catch some fish. So until next time, um, we'll be seeing you.